In a high pass skin softening, you're going to retain a lot of the original texture that the model has. This is what gives it that high end look. A lot of uh, photographers out there, they prefer to blur it. It's a simple method. Most of us learn it. It was the first thing I learned. And the problem with that is you start getting a real plasticky look to your model or your photos. So to give you an example, I went ahead and did this in the blur no layer. We'll turn that on. And you can see I had to drop this back down to 33%. If we were to look at it how it was originally, that's how fake and plasticky the skin looks after that. Dropping it back an opacity doesn't necessarily do much for the image and I'm going to explain why because of your blending modes and everything else now what I'm showing you is going to be a high pass and in a high pass skin softening we still retain a lot of this natural texture and we do that through a series of a high pass and then a Gaussian blur now I know I just said don't blow the skin but you'll see how when we do it in the high pass it gives the skin a lot healthier look you can still see all that original texture it's going to give you a much more high-end look. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Go back to the original image. And the first thing you want to do is duplicate your image. You can do that using Command-J on a Mac. I'm not real familiar with uh, Windows, so I don't know what that is. We'll duplicate our image, and then we want to invert it. Now, just Command-I will invert that. Now, what you're doing, essentially, is you're going in... Um, to the color balance areas of this. So in the original, you have an RGB. Well, now you've just turned the reds to cyans. You're working with CMY. You turn the greens to magentas and the blues to yellows. Now come in here and doing this overlay. And just bear with me here. I know this, this looks terrible right now. But when you do an overlay, I came over here just to show you a quick example of why we're doing this. By inverting it, we turn blacks to whites, whites to blacks. But what overlay does is it gets rid of the middle gray, the 50% gray. So turning this blue on, you'll see I kept both ends of the spectrum. The, the whites become whiter, the darks become darker, but you lose that middle ground. That's what you're taking and you're converting over. So by us putting the opposite of the colors, because you can never have uh, cyan and red in the same thing. They're like two sides of a coin. They're, they exist on two spectrums. You can never have one or another. As you go one way, you lose the other. You're eliminating that middle ground. Now, what that does to our model is it allows all that texture to still be there. And it's taking out the shadowing, high, super high end, as I call it. Uh, dodging a burning usually implies lightening the shadows and darkening the highlights. And that's what gives everything a middle texture. What we're doing is kind of just skipping the middleman here to say so once you have your your blend your layer inverted so your colors are balancing each other and you have your blending mode set to overlay then you're going to come up to your filter other high pass let that load and you can start to see that now it has this real glamour glow type look which might be fine if you're doing boudoir, you might just use this right here, break back on it and give it that real smeary look. But usually a 10 pixel radius is what we go with. If you come down less than that, then your image stays a lot sharper because of the high pass filter. If you go further than that, then it becomes way too blown out and you start losing your highlights and everything. About 10 pixels is usually a really good um, middle ground for me. Excuse me. So once you have the high pass filter, now here's the part that I know I said don't blur the skin, but you're going to see how in ours it's going to work. So you're going to go to your filter again, blur, Gaussian blur. And you want to stick with your radius of anywhere between one and five pixels. So you'll see if we come down, the less we blur it, the more blurry it actually is. The more we blur it, the sharper the image becomes. So for this one, I think three, 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 maybe three, five. Let's see what that looks like. Three, five. Yep. That looks really good right there. So now you can see how we have that nice, nice detail, but we don't want that everywhere. 
look how the hair looks if we back off um, on this you'll see the whole image doesn't really look that good but the skin's looking a lot better so to do that we just put our layer mask on you can either hold alt and click that and get a black or you can click it command i and invert that now we'll come over and choose our brush tool by hitting b and go ahead and keep it at 100 percent opacity 100 percent flow choose white as your foreground color and then keeping um, an idea of which lines you're going to be on you don't want to go over the edges of the nose right here of this and whatnot but you can go ahead and begin painting that in. And you can already see how that healthy glow is starting to fill in on the cheeks, taking it all the way to the edge. Minimize this down. Again, keeping, showing a lot of concern for these edges. And you'll come in The computer's gonna lag just a little bit behind me because it's has to do because I'm using QuickTime to do this video. You can already see how this is all changing. It's all looking significantly better. near the hair and one thing you can do is go back to your layer mask over here hold down the alt button and click it and then you'll see that it turns black and white you can see any spots you missed and you can color those in really easily go back Make sure you get all this. Being careful for any lines in the makeup. So anyways, I'll back out just a little bit so you can see the overall progress of what we've done. That's with it off. That's with it on. And even then, I usually take the opacity down to roughly 80, between 80 and 90% depending on. And there you have it. That's high pass skin softening. Anyways, check out my uh, website at tjlphoto.com.